All right, guys, FBI agents have killed some guy making uh, threats to Biden, guys. We got, we got to hear the story here, because, yeah. I don't, I don't really hear uh, about, you know, somebody getting killed just for making threats, but let's check it out. Hi there, the house behind me is where the shooting took place. It appears FBI agents were here to arrest a man accusing him of threatening to kill the president. This video shared with Fox 13 News shows FBI agents outside 75 year old Craig Robertson's home. We woke up this and there was just like a lot of shouting, a lot of 75, wait, they killed a 75 year old. Just kind of loud bangs because I think they were trying to get him to wake up and trying to um, go ahead and like get him out of his house. John Michael Asola is a neighbor who saw some of what happened. They just kind of pulled him out there and on the driveway. And we just it, like some people looked like they were tending to him and then he it was clear that he was gone. FBI agents were apparently serving an arrest warrant for Robertson. The U.S. Attorney's Office for Utah had charged him on Tuesday with threatening the life of federal agents and the president of the United States. Federal prosecutors included social media posts starting last year where Robertson is accused of making numerous public threats against President Biden and other political leaders, including some. Dang, bro. Not a smart thing to do, bro. He just keeps posting it, man. All bad, all bad. He specifically says President Biden is coming. Especially with the... <clears throat> Especially with a threat like this. That, that's definitely going to raise federal attention, guys. You know what I mean? ...to Utah, and he's going to dust off his ghillie suit and sniper rifle. Photos from Robertson's Facebook page in two... Yeah, and definitely with the photos like this, bro. It is going to raise red flags. Now they know they're, they they got to take it serious, guys. Because look, look at this, bro. This is not... um. This is definitely a threat to, like, you know, we can't, I, I, I always add, don't advocate for, show him with such a I don't, I don't want to advocate for, like, them to use lethal force here, but, I mean, this guy has, like, firearms and stuff, like, a, a, an actual sniper rifle and stuff, like, no. Set up and practicing, federal agents write in charging documents they believe he was serious. The bad effects of social media, guys, right here, because, like, you know. If it's social media, it's also a good thing because, you know, we probably wouldn't have them. Um, they probably wouldn't have known that this was this guy was around doing what trying to do here. What exactly transpired the FBI or he was trying to do will not say beyond confirming an agent involved shooting around 615 Wednesday morning. In a statement, the FBI says the incident began when special agents attempted to serve arrest and search warrants at a residence. The subject is deceased. The FBI takes all shooting incidents involving our agents or task force members seriously. In accordance with FBI policy, the shooting incident is under review by the FBI's inspection division. As this is an ongoing matter, we have no further details to provide. Pegas. We don't know if he like barricaded himself or anything, but dang, bro, don't don't they don't play around with that kind of stuff, man. They've been one of my best friends for forty years. I mean, the, the meanest guy in the world. He would do anything to help anyone. He's an amazing guy. He was he, he was strong in the church. Um, just a very out, you know, loving guy. I mean, we've been we, we've been brothers for years. And kind of sad to see that you know he died like this, guys. One of Robertson's friends tells me he's in disbelief. The things that they've been saying about him on the, the news is not correct. I mean, it, Craig would do anything to, to help people. But... Have you seen his social media posts where he threatened to kill the president? Uh, you know, he, he says these things, but I didn't. As we got to look at some comments here. I no idea that he would. Not sure if there's going to be a lot of comments on this video. Carry it out, did it? it Now, his friend tells me he knew Robertson had issues with the government, but he cannot fathom this. Again, we do not know exactly what transpired that led to the shooting. 
Live well, in Provo. <clears throat> They are trying to serve in a rest warrant. They weren't trying to, like, go out and assassinate him, guys, but... For somebody that's armed, and posting pictures armed and dangerous and stuff... They had to be prepared, you know what I mean? It'd be interesting to know if those are... <clears throat> to know if those were the orders given to the FBI before the encounter. That, that's true, that's true. The language of extremism has been acceptable. There's got since ninety five there's gotta be more than some social media posts. And get to this dude before he actually does anything, but school shooters always make it to court. They're both calling it very fishy there for FBI. For our body cams. Good job, FBI. Rip Trevor. More. Old Man Lives Matters. Dude, watch too much Fox News. <clears throat> All that military style force for one man that made a threat. But nothing remotely similar to for a southern border or politicians. Build a suspect sounds suspicious. Alright guys, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out everyone. It's sad that is a life. Life has been lost, but this guy's, you know. Posting extremist posts and stuff. I don't know what to say, guys. But... <clears throat> we just don't know what happened when they visited the house. You know what I mean? But kind of scary thing. <clears throat>